Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to the weekly Monday Motivation Podcast, No More Excuses. I am your host, Sandy Goddard, the badass business coach. Thanks for being here, for listening, and for watching, and sharing the podcast with others, and investing in you. Yes, well, today's theme, you're welcome, is courtesy of my own, maybe a little lack of motivation. The theme, just do it. The title of the podcast, just do it. Yes, I've been saying for years that Nike was on to something with that, right? Sometimes you just have to do it. Sometimes you just have to power through it. And powering through is not always a great way to get things done, but sometimes you just have to do it, right? So um, today, yes, we have shit we have to do, but maybe we don't really want to. Now, I'm not saying I didn't want to record this podcast. I was just tired from last week's full week of meetings I was productive, not just busy. Wasn't just a week of of things. I had a lot of really great meetings and I had a lot of fun over the weekend and I needed to clean the house and all these things and excuses were just kind of popping in my head like, oh, I'm tired. Oh, I need a day off. Oh, I have to clean. And I, I was just going around and around and around. And finally it just popped in my head. Ballard just do it. Just get off your ass and just do it. And I started laughing at myself. So there you go. And if you've listened to me for a while, or if you're new to this, I preach about prioritizing all the time. Yes. Making sure what's on your list is is a good use of your time, but in the right priority. And if you can delegate it, not everyone can afford to delegate everything, have staff hire out, I don't know, trade if you need to, you know, but sometimes we can't delegate it and we just truly have to do it ourselves. You know, we all have shit to do that sometimes we have to do, like I said, want to do, need to do. And thinking about it after shifting my own mindset, I realized I get to do do these podcasts. I get to do this, right? I'm grateful that all of you are listening. 95 countries. I mean, almost seven years of doing this. Sometimes I think the lack of motivation comes from going, what am I going to talk about? And so I think had I, no, I don't think I know, had I recorded this on Friday, I would not have come up with this, this theme, you know? And so it worked out, right? (laughs) Well, you know, sometimes the lack of motivation can turn into stress and we want to make sure that doesn't happen. Right. You know, and, and really thinking through it, uh, no one else can record this podcast for me because it's me. So what about you? What are things only you can do? And are they things you really like to do or sometimes feel like you have to do them? You know, like I said, I do love doing these podcasts, but sometimes it just doesn't feel quite like I get to do it. It feels more like I have to do it. So today and this week on social media, I want to keep this discussion going and help you identify ways to motivate yourself when you're feeling a bit like I was, you know, I know it's not always good to power through things, but honestly, sometimes you have to, you know, sometimes we just have to get things done. That's why a lot of times deadlines help, right? Well, they they create some sort of urgency. So think about that. You know, what are things that only you can do? And as much as I'm a get up and get to it type person, I'm not always a hundred percent motivated, especially after a crazy full week and, a crazy fun weekend, right? You know, so, and when I'm I'm doing the training run or I don't know, eat a bunch of tacos, I realize I have to get up and go work out. I need to power through that training run because it doesn't always feel great, but you, you have to do it. But also I get to do it. I get to be a healthy person. I get to have that satisfaction satisfaction of running that race. I get to do the things I get to do. So that's actually number one on the list. Three ways of, of things, ways I get things done when I don't necessarily want to. The first one, reframe it. Like I mentioned, change your shitty mindset from have to do to get to, to do And this, even though I, I'm the one that has to do these, um, podcasts, I reframed my mindset. I get to do these because you're listening, you're watching, and I'm hearing from you. And that helps re-motivate me to keep going.
going after all these years. So number one, reframe whatever it is you're not getting done. All right. And what also helps is number two, think about the result. Although dusting and mopping is nowhere near my favorite thing to do ever. Think how, how it has a house, a clean house, smell and feel and look, right? If someone, you know, we've all walked into someone's house. We're like, oh, could use a little spruce snap. Right now, my floors need some cleaning. But I decided to record this podcast instead of clean, right? So thinking about the result, what's the result of you doing your job? What's the result of doing some a task that's on your to-do list? You know, is it going to help you get near your goal? Is it going to help you make progress? Is it going to help you get more clients, customers, make more money? Is it going to help you keep your job? Whatever it is, is it going to, you know, feeding the kids? You probably have to do that. <laughs> I've mentioned that before. Let's feed the kids, right? So, you know, thinking about what the result is, what will you achieve? What will happen by you doing whatever it is you now get to do, right? And number three, identify why you haven't gotten to it. You know, whatever it is, I didn't get to this on Friday because I hadn't made an appointment to go get the car serviced and it took longer and the, it was raining and in California, that doesn't go well with traffic. And I had to go do a few other errands. So while I was out, so I didn't get to do it Friday, but there were other reasons why, you know, again, reasons or excuses. Think about it. Are you purposefully or purposely not getting to this? Are you, are you, are the distractions, are you allowing them by weakening your boundaries or are they self-inflicted, right? Are those distractions, what is causing you to not get whatever it is you get to do done? All right. So think about it, reframe it, think about the result and identify why you haven't gotten to it. All right. I want to hear from you, Sandy at sandyballard.com. How do you motivate yourself? How do you get things done on your to-do list when you're not feeling it? Right. All right. But thinking about it, pick one thing that you're like, you've just, maybe you're avoiding it or just not getting to it. Reframe it. Think about the result. Identify why you haven't gotten to it. Email me, Sandy at sandyballard.com. Post here, wherever you're seeing this or hearing this and let me know what ways do you motivate yourself when you're really just maybe not feeling it. Don't forget to check out my website, badassbusiness.coach. And as always, I'm here to help you. If you just really can't think through all of that, you can't motivate yourself. You're just like, I just can't do it, Sandy. It's just not happening. All right. I look forward to hearing from you and have a great week full of motivation because now you've reframed it. You've thought about the result and you've identified the why you have been getting to it and you can then fix that issue, that challenge. All right. Thanks again for being here. Have a great week. Cheers.